ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived here at the 81 Speedway located in Park City, Kansas. An absolutely beautiful racetrack that I actually have been to before twice. Ran here um, with ASCS in 2020, like one of the first times I ever came to the Midwest and ran fifth. Came here last year with Shark Racing and we wind it out. And when you look at this racetrack, I feel like you would classify it right in the middle. It's definitely not a bull ring, but I also wouldn't necessarily consider it big. And they don't necessarily run a lot of big sprint car shows here all the time, but when they do, I feel like it's usually a solid surface. There's something on the bottom down by the tractor tires, and it's not, you know, rare for it to get right up by the fence. And with most likely anywhere from 30 to 40 four tens in the pit area today, I think it's going to be a good one. We're getting after it with the greatest show on dirt. After yesterday's disappointment, getting winded out uh, down at Thunderbird Speedway, we just want to get on track. We want to go race and we want to continue to get our season rolling and get the 18T up to speed. start to our night here at the uh, 81 Speedway. Just ripped off fifth quick in Group B. We were so close to being on the front row of a heat race. So they have like split, you know, uh, split flights because we have um, over 38 cars. I think in total we ended up with 41 410s. But I was fourth quick for a long time and there at the end just got bumped. But overall, really happy with our car and our baseline setup we have. After last week struggling a little bit, I felt like we spent some extra time just, you know, looking at our race car and trying some things and unloaded really well. I think we were fourth quick in hot laps and, you know, I would tell you hot laps don't matter as far as where you end up because you got to perform the rest of the night, but it is a key component to have speed early on so you can kind of just tweak on it instead of really, you know, chasing your tail. So we were really good to start the night and then, you know, kind of transfer that into qualifying. We definitely need to make some changes for this heat race because the track is starting to slicken off a little bit and I just feel like we're more on the free side and I'd like to feel a little bit more stable and a little bit tighter. So we're going to be starting third in our heat race. That will be coming up shortly. So the top five finishers are going to transfer directly through this heat race in the top two will be getting those all-important dash spots to start anywhere in the top four rows of tonight's A-Main event.
So I can tell you this, we got something to work with tonight. Uh, these outlaw shows, man, they are so cutthroat and this much can make a huge difference in your outcome. Um, we started third there in the heat, almost got to second on the first lap. I you know, had a good first corner, got through three and four and was side by side for second and just almost got paying attention too much to, to the battle that I almost took my eyes. You know, I was looking a little left because they were in the middle of the straightaway and I was kind of right on the outside and I started looking too much left and not enough forward and kind of missed my entry and it just hurt me enough to where I wasn't able to drive by him on the back stretch or get myself in a better spot. And that was kind of the difference in my heat race and you know, maybe making the dash there. And then unfortunately, you know, just kind of had some decent laps, but then had a couple laps where I was just in the wrong spot. I got caught in the middle of three and four and allowed a bay log. He kind of slid me, I got back by him and then we kind of went back and forth um, until the white flag came out in the checkered and he just snuck by. Some of it is I just need to settle down and just work on, on doing my thing, you know, really hit my, my marks on entry. My car's really close. We just need to keep making some fine adjustments. I'm kind of free in different spots. And we've really been talking through what's causing the car to do that, you know, kind of on entry because you have so much speed and then to the center and it just hurt my, my corner speed off and, you know, my momentum. Uh, but now we're going to start, you know, mid pack or a little bit farther for tonight's show. Glad that we're in the A because this is a stellar field and just happy that I feel, you know, okay with my race car and we have something that we're working with and, you know, we're, we're semi-sporty at the moment. Well, the track surface tonight is absolutely beautiful. It's still a little bit fast around the top and it has, you know, some more room down here in one and two to get closer to the fence and kind of widen out. And I think once it goes that direction, the bottom then will speed up. But I think a concern for this place is sometimes it's almost too slick and then it rubbers and then you kind of just kill tires. And at some point in the feature, it single files out. Granted, there's still a C main, a B main and a dash to go and then the support class. But I feel like we're looking, uh, looking pretty good. And it kind of, like I said, in the heats you were able to move around enough to pass cars and it wasn't super single file so now really all we can do is keep an eye on the track and how it continues to change and if they work it at all before the feature so heading out for the feature uh, rolling off officially from 14th the goal here, obviously you gotta get a good start and start trying to make progress early. I think the track's gonna change, but right now it's really dirty, and I think that's gonna prevent it hopefully from taking rubber, and it's just gonna kinda keep forming its own way. The top side's been fast all night, so it's hard to say if that uh, if we'll get off of that lane, but no matter what, we're gonna have to move around to make it happen.
so the engine was obviously not running to 100% full potential there on that last restart I pulled in under the yellow to try to have it looked at in the work area and that's when everything kind of went wrong for us as we were trying to fix it trying to get in the right spot to get work area time and hopefully get back on track which didn't end up happening well dang it guys poor uh, poor ending to our night here at 81 Speedway kind of was just like one deal to the next and just me being a little bit rusty I got a poor start I had to like double steer I I started behind Donnie I was supposed to be on the outside but um, one car didn't show so they recrisscrossed us and I was on the inside and I just turned a little too soon when we got on the gas and then had to turn around the tractor tire which put me in the center you know more up in the straightaway and I was trying to get my car to get down because you know with the fuel load and whatnot and the tire you know you stand up on the straightaway trying to get on the gas so bad early on and I was trying to get my car to get down so I could turn left and I just got sideways and totally screwed up my first my got me sideways in one and two and out of sorts and I lost probably five spots and from there I still made a couple of decent corners as I was trying to just get back going but we didn't have any we didn't really catch any breaks we had a couple different yellows and by the time I fell back and I felt like my car was just starting to get better five six laps in uh, we had um, a super I'm, I'm embarrassed to even you know say what happened we had a silly problem that took us out of the race and we maybe could have fixed it in the work area but then we had a disaster there my fall I thought the work area was on the front stretch like most tracks and it was on the back stretch and then no one came to push me to the back stretch the world outlaw official or I, I don't know it was just and then I you know because I had an engine problem I pulled in and I was like well we're better off to be done we don't want to hurt something I didn't know what was wrong and they got to looking at it and anyway it is what it is it just uh bad deal I think our car actually was um you know we, we, we did good all night and we just you know weren't able to capitalize to finish it off well, last night, this racetrack was in tip-top shape. Super jealous that I did not get to run the entire feature because it literally just got better and better. Guys were moving around left and right, throwing haymakers. It even got, I mean, just about on the fence off of turn four. When I was here a couple years ago, it was good, but last night, I think it was even better. There's just a little bit of grip in spots to where you can kind of run, not necessarily all over, but enough to where guys can move around while they're racing and kind of put each other in bad spots break momentum as for us our race was kind of over there before it started I lost some spots early because of kind of that first lap fiasco and then I you know kind of was like all right I think I think we're gonna have a chance to get back up here and then we had a problem with the nozzle line and so I lost a cylinder that it came off and then I tried to go to the work area my fault I didn't know exactly where the work area was I thought it was on the front stretch like like 99% of the time and then they wouldn't let my crew guys you know that all happen you know touch the car no one pushed me to the work area and then I was like well we're having an engine problem and I didn't want to risk going back out there long story short like we should have just been able to fix it but how it happened it happened and uh, anyway it is what it is there's nothing we can do at this point the one takeaway from last night though is I felt good with my race car and I feel like we got something to work with you guys got to remember last year we had some great runs with shark racing that was an unbelievable opportunity but there's something about you know jumping in a different program you know my program the 18t I would say last season before I got in that car like we still had a lot of work to do to compete on a world of outlaw level and all in an all-star circuit of champions level or high limit and last night even just some of the raw speed we had and the comfortability that I felt was much greater than before as it should be but you know in my own car with the completely new package and stuff that we're really working on and that's a big deal so I know how I may sound but seriously this is small victories as we're kind of trying to get going and get our season underway I mean we're only two nights into this but I can tell you that we made a massive jump and the raw speed that we have is huge and uh, I can't wait now I I, man, I just want to keep racing. We, we got to get to five, 10 races, and I think we're really going to make some big jumps and be right where we want to be. And to end this, check out the cushion that built up on the wall. 81 Speedway is freaking cool. I can't wait to come back. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I want to thank all my partners that helped get the 18T on track. I would not be here without so much um, incredible support. Of course, our crew, my dad, mom, uh, Carly, Blake. My sister Carly and Blake, he was from Shark Racing last year. Those are my two crew guys for, the, for this first 
swing and man without them I would I wouldn't be anything they work their tails off and I think we're really all starting to click to get our race car good and I want to give a huge shout out to the boss here in Dallas Shane DeWald trucking fast four media carbon works LLC pit stop USA earth environmental canopy country ABC powder coating s tech automotive wraps Venendal trucking and then bullseye design and print rod and supply tie 22 triple X racing chassis and champion car wash I know a lot of you guys are anxious you want to see us do well and of course I want to do I want to do well more than anything it hurts when we have nights like last night but I can tell you this we're headed in the right direction it's a long season we're gonna make it happen just give us a little bit more time to keep working on our race car and let me get back into tip-top shape uh, for the year we got big things ahead I'll see you guys all in the next video Deuces.